Welcome to Maximize Speaker Notes in PowerPoint. This under five minute tutorial will cover all aspects of using the notes tool for slideshow presentations. And it's good for all versions of PowerPoint, starting with Office 2013, all the way up to Office 365. Hi, I'm Les McCarter from PowerUp Training, where my decades of PowerPoint experience can become your expertise for free. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel to support me in creating a full library of PowerPoint tutorials for free for you. Do employ the YouTube chapter settings below. Just hover your mouse over the timeline and you'll see the chapters jump up. Or just stay tuned for the full tutorial to learn about everything, including the three ways to enter speaker notes into PowerPoint, how to change the presentation mode font size, what you can and cannot change in formatting the speaker notes, including the background. And here's a spoiler alert. You can't, but there's a reason why. So let's go and power up on all about the speaker notes. Here we go. Here we are in normal view for a simple three slide presentation. Let's move into the slideshow and start it from the beginning. You can see that the speaker notes section is empty and it will not let me type any notes into it. As for the speaker notes, it seems to be read only. I'm gonna end the slideshow and we'll work on just our second slide. I'm about to show you the three different view modes where you can put in speaker notes, starting with outline view. Right there on the bottom of the screen is a section to add in the speaker notes, although it's just called Click to add notes. Let me type in some text for us. Before I leave this view, let's also take note of the standard font settings. Specifically, the, we are using the default color, the font is Calibri, and the font size is 12 point. I will return back to these settings in a few moments to see what we can and cannot change. Okay. Let's look at the second of three views where we can edit the speaker notes, which is the normal view. The notes are shown at the same bottom of the screen location, but it may or may not be visible as you can hide and show the notes by clicking the notes icon. You can also size the workspace by grabbing the separator line once the double arrows show up. With those arrows, just click and drag to get more or less workspace. Noting that the more notes workspace given, the less canvas workspace is available. Or more precisely, the canvas area is scaled down. I'm gonna add a second line of text in this view. Now for the third view of editing notes, it is right in the view called notes page. In this view, there's a much bigger workspace where I will add a third line of text. Remember, you can always cut and paste from another program such as Microsoft Word. Now we can go into the presenter mode. I have a customized quick access toolbar icon that I've added to launch the presentation from the current slide to speed things up. And there are my three lines of text. I can try clicking and typing in more, but I do fail. I can also try to format the text by highlighting and right mouse clicking, but I fail again. Do not be distracted by the pop-up menu with the right mouse button click. It is the exact same menu no matter where I click on the presenter view screen. It has nothing to do with the speaker note text. The only thing I can do is make the fonts bigger or smaller to read by either clicking the giant A or the small A icons or using my mouth scroll button with the control key to zoom up and down, but only to a limit. I can only make it so big, but quite honestly, the max is too big, even for my marginal vision. Let's go back to our workspace and we see that the word fonts did not change in the notes page view. 
But if I switch this to the normal view, the font is huge, just like they were in the presenter view. However, if I double click a word and hover over it, the font size and color and type have not changed. So it was the presenter view visual zoom size that came over to the normal view. There just was no change to the actual font characteristics. In fact, if I try to change the font in the normal view to say a new color and a larger font size on the word these, nothing seems to change. And this holds true in the outline view, although I need to scroll up to the top of the line to see that it has not changed. But if I go to the notes page view, I do see the bigger font and the color red. Unfortunately, when I return back to the presenter view, the font formatting did not change. The only control I have here in the presenter view is how big or small it is displayed in the presenter view. No formatting changes are possible here. All is not completely lost. Back in the note page view, let me add one more set of formatting changes to the words normal view with bold and underlined. And when I return back to the presenter view, yes, we do see bold and underlined showing up in the speaker notes. So to summarize and explain, one, the only way to edit the contents of the notes page is from one of three PowerPoint views, normal, outline, or notes page. Two, only the notes page view will let you do extensive font formatting, which is great for printing, but the only font formatting that will carry over to the presenter view is bold, underline, and italics. And lastly, you cannot change the black background color in the presenter view. And there's a good reason. The expectation is you are working in a darkened conference room when presenting and the potential laptop screen lights leakage is prevented with the use of the darker color background. It is locked to the color for you and your own good. There you go on learning everything you need to know about the speaker notes in PowerPoint. Want more? Then do subscribe to our Power Up Training YouTube channel, where we can make you an expert in PowerPoint. Remember that subscriptions and likes support my work to create more free video training for you. Also, if you want to explore all of our free PowerPoint training, then visit us at our website of power-up.training. Now, go set up your speaker notes and power